I feel that we as a talent professional need to embrace that, lean in and understand what does that data mean and how do we build that into a narrative that helps move businesses forward. So I think don't be afraid of it, um, as I said embrace it because it can add credibility to the HR profession that we may have been struggling with in the past. By 2020, the World Economic Forum believes that approximately 5 million jobs will be displaced, which is quite frightening when you consider we're in 2018 today. So from a HR profession perspective, I feel where this will most impact us is in terms of redeveloping um, our employees and adjusting the skill sets that are required for the, the next generation of work. And so thinking about how do we do that, how do we rescale on scale? Um, and using various platforms such as LinkedIn Learning Solutions and others that are on the, in the market will certainly be um, very helpful, but we all need to start thinking about how we move forward with that dialogue. I believe that 79 will get to 100 and potentially beyond in a very short space of time. More and more managers are looking for data to help make the decisions so as to avoid bias. And particularly in the world we're in today where we're trying to move towards much more balanced gender diversity, um, I think this is going to be critical going forward. I don't see business strategy and talent strategies as two separate things. I see them as interwoven and they need to be connected in order to create success for a company. In order for a talent strategy to be really effective, the HR professionals that are designing that need to understand the fundamentals of the business, where does the business need to go, and how can we help enable that and that success. And data is pivotal to all of that. Well, I used Game of Thrones analogies um, in my presentation purely for one, a bit of fun, um, and two, because we are talking about expansion at LinkedIn, and right now I'm not at liberty to discuss where we're opening an office, but I just thought using um, the real data and the process by which we can analyze the supply and demand of data, it's really irrelevant what the city is. Um, and so we just picked various cities in Westeros from the Game of Thrones just to prove the point, which is no matter where you're trying to find talent, we at LinkedIn can help you source that talent by building talent pools and understanding where there are skills shortages, where there are skills that are in excess, and how you as a company can attract that talent. I think the most impactful way for empowering your people is to trust them. So I've had many conversations today here at Summit around um, engagement and employer branding and social media and how do you leverage social media. And for me, that all starts with trusting your employees, allowing them to embrace social media and to talk about your company. And what ultimately happens is they become your brand ambassadors. And I'm not sure everybody knows, but one employee is 10 times more likely to have uh, followers than a company itself. So the virality is huge. So if you want to drive a really amazing employer brand in a fast and cost-effective way, leverage your own employees. Trust them to send your message. But if you want them to talk about an authentic message, you need to create a culture that they can talk about. India's engagement numbers are much higher than, let's say, that those of the UK. One, because of volume and two because of job opportunities and, their, and them seeking those opportunities. And so it's all to do with the culture um, and, and what they are seeking. And it changes and it ebbs and flows you know, throughout the year. Um, and we do see that the UK goes up and down in accordance with that. I think it will be really important for leaders to help people understand the power of AI and how that can actually make their lives better. And if you think about a career lifespan and the trajectory for somebody, understanding that AI can actually help accelerate that trajectory, uh, instead of fearing it and thinking that this will take away from my career, it actually is additive. And instead of doing certain types of work that may keep you at this level, you can now start accelerating and elevating your conversations and starting work at this level. So I think it's all about education and taking away the fear and embracing the, the goodness of data.
I think first and foremost, I would like all companies to start leveraging data in their decision-making processes, particularly those of us in the HR profession. Um, secondly, I would like our uh, talent professionals to start using that data in a different way, not just for reporting sake, but for insights, and then using those insights to build stories and becoming amazing storytellers. And when we become storytellers, we can add tremendous value to a company.